Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about for unit testing. Uh, in my earlier video, I had talked about how you can use auto fixture to create uh, essentially data for your tests. And uh, today I wanted to show you how you can use uh, something called auto fixture auto mock package. And I've already installed this. And to use it, uh, it's pretty easy. You can just say using auto fixture and using auto fixture dot auto mock. So let me demonstrate what would be the use of it. So as you already know, you can create a fixture and I have an interface and I wanted to create an object of that interface. So normally uh, I would expect uh, here's my interface. So I should be able to do fixture dot create an interface and get an object of that type and do some assertions on that object. But uh, so if you just try to run this, you would see that it's not going to work. And I just wanted to demonstrate that to you in a second. Uh, so it is uh, trying to build and run and you can see it's got a problem because it doesn't know how to create an object from an interface. So uh, the interesting thing is that uh, with this uh, fix auto fixture auto mock, it, uh, it can provide you with capabilities to create a fixture. Uh, for interfaces as well. So to do that what you can do is you just need to uh, start the fixture You want to say customize not customization just customize and you can say new auto mock customizations auto mock Customization and just do that for, for now and you can see that it uh, kind of works and uh, that's all the change I have made here. So if I just run this, you would see that the test is going to pass. And that's because here you can see the test has actually passed. See here it says test passed. But uh, what I wanted to show you uh, a little subtle different here. So let me just do a breakpoint here and say debug test. So you can see what it is creating. So if you look at the object that is being created, uh, and I'm going to show it to you in a second, it will have the default value. So if you look at the object uh, here, you can see the object here. See here, you can see the legs is a string, but it has a value of null. Name is a string and it has a value of null. And healthy is an integer, which has a value of zero. So it's not really populating the values with some random values. Uh, typically that's what you would, end up seeing with fixtures. But the test passes because null is equal to null and everything else. For So for some reason, you wanted it to be populated with some random data. This, this is what uh, typically uh, we use auto fixture for that. You need to make another slight change and I'm going to sh demonstrate that to you right now also. So let's, uh, so to do that, what you can do is when you create this auto mock uh, customizations, you want to say configure members is equal to true. And so that when it, so let's just run the test right now and see what the difference here is. So if you uh, just uh, run this and uh, when the object breaks, we can take a quick look at the object again and see if it gets populated with some uh, random values, which is usually created by the fixture. So now actually you can see here, this is what we would uh, expect with the fixture where you can see the names has a, uh, a random string and the legs has a random string and healthy has a random number. So this is a pretty, pretty neat feature to be able to take an interface and uh, be able to do auto mock customizations. So that's pretty much it for today. And I'm going to add this video on my website under C sharp uh, unit uh, testing with auto fixture auto mock. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.